Hi guys, I'm back here working on my 2009 Mini Cooper and I decided to change the uh, engine filter and when I went to pull the release the hood would not pop and apparently these Mini Coopers are known for the, um, the latch seizing up and um, in the engine so what happened, I already fixed it, but I'm going to show you what I did and how I uh, knew what was happening. So basically when I went to pull this, the cable just, it just nothing would happen. But now, it actually works. So basically when the, um, the lash wouldn't work, I had, um, I had someone actually put their hands on the hood on both sides because there, there are latches on either side right about right about here and right about here and basically just like push down pull up push down pull up until it actually would pop open to kind of relieve some of the um, tension on it so now it actually releases and you reach under here and pop it up so what I did is I greased up this latch it was all rusted and I greased it all up and then here's the other latch I greased that one up and basically uh, I put grease all over uh, the other end that's on the hood and I did it over here so basically the way it works is it has two cables that run to join into this to a single cable and then that runs inside There was some uh, mention on online that you can actually reach that latch from the front, but I have no idea how you would do that because my grill, there's no clear path in it. Because basically this, the way this latch works is when you close it, it pushes down, then it, then it locks in place for both sides and there's no way to access it if it's if it's seized up or your cable broke basically uh, you probably have to take off the uh, bumper and the front grill to be able to get to it now one of the things I did on the inside was I noticed the um, the bracket was all bent up and I'll show you uh, how to fix that so basically to get to that um, release you gotta pull back on the the um, weather strip trim and then pop the panel off a little bit then back behind there's a 10 millimeter uh, nut uh, bolt on a nut let me see if I can get a shot of it here back back in there right right back in here so you basically uh, use your um, 10 millimeter to take that nut off. Okay, there's the uh, 10 millimeter nut off. And be careful when you take it off that you don't drop it because otherwise it will fall down into the cracks of, uh, of your car and be pain in the butt getting it out. So here's the bracket. And what I had on mine was I had the um, this plastic piece had pop off this where it fits in the slot and that was because this piece was all bent it was bent forward so I just took a pair of pliers bent it back straight and once it was bent straight this piece of plastic was able to sit in the groove and not pop back out so once you get that nice and seated it should stay in there because um, when I opened it up there was a zip tie tying these two together and that's, that, that's what the problem was so basically straighten up this piece of metal so you got a nice 90 degree here and this thing should fit in there and not pop back out every time you try to pop the hood and make sure everything is greased up and if everything's greased up probably grease it up every year um, just to make sure it's always releases because if it doesn't um, you're kind of screwed and taking it into the dealership will probably cost a big load of money to get that fixed so get your hood open grease everything up and um, should be working uh, and you won't have any problems. Talk to you later soon.